On October 5, the New York Times published allegations against film mogul Harvey Weinstein by women who say he usually harass them. Following that article, the New Yorker published its own investigation, revealing three women had accused Weinstein of rape. In the following days, many more women have come forward with allegations. Over the months since the story first came to light, over 30 women have come forward with allegations against Weinstein. Weinstein responded to the New York Times' initial article alleging UAL harassment. A Weinstein spokeswoman, Sally Hoffmeister, issued the following statement, Any allegations of non-consensual are unequivocally denied by Mr. Weinstein. Mr. Weinstein has further confirmed that there were never any acts of retaliation against any women for refusing his advances. Below is a list of those who allege that they were victimized in some way by Harvey. Teen Vogue will continue to update this list as more accusers come forward. Alice Evans seen an essay for The Telegraph. Actress Alice Evans claims that Weinstein tried to touch her at the Cannes Film Festival. Just go. I'm right behind you. I want to touch your tits. Kiss you a little, the producer allegedly said. Evans also claims that her rejection of Weinstein negatively impacted her husband's career. Amber Anderson actress Amber Anderson took to Instagram to share her story about Weinstein. In her post, she claims that the producer coerced her into a private meeting in 2013, where he propositioned her with a personal relationship. He told me not to tell anyone I was alone with him, told me if I did it might affect my opportunities, Anderson wrote. He tried to take my hand and put it in his lap, which is when I managed to leave the room. Amber Batalana Gutierrez in 2015, Gutierrez, a model, went to the police and alleged that Weinstein had usually harassed her. She later wore a wire during a New York Police Department sting and taped Weinstein admitting that had groped her previously. The operation DIDNT lead to charges or a trial, but the audio was published by The New Yorker. Angelina Jolie Jolie told the New York Times that she had a bad experience with Weinstein in the late 1990s. I had a bad experience with Harvey Weinstein in my youth, and as a result, chose never to work with him again and warn others when they did, she told the New York Times. This behavior towards women in any field, any country is unacceptable. Angie Everhart actress Angie Everhart alleges that Weinstein masturbated in front of her during the Venice Film Festival. The incident reportedly took place while Everhart was staying on the same boat as the producer. I had just arrived and I was sleeping. I was in my bed, the actress says. I wake up and Harvey is standing above my bed. All of the sudden he takes his pants down and starts doing his stuff. Everhart claims that Weinstein later said to her you're a really nice girl, you shouldn't tell anybody about this. Ashley Judd was the first accuser to be cited in the initial New York Times piece detailing Weinstein's alleged harassment. According to the New York Times, Weinstein invited Judd to a breakfast meeting when she was a young actress. When she arrived, Judd told the New York Times, she was instead sent to Weinstein's room, where he was waiting in a bathrobe, and asked if he could give her a massage if she could him shower. How do I get out of the room as fast as possible without alienating Harvey Weinstein? Judd told the New York Times she was thinking at the time. Asia Argento Argento told the New Yorker that Weinstein raped her by forcibly performing oral on her. Argento told the New Yorker she didnt come forward until now because she feared he would crush her. I know he has crushed a lot of people before, she said. That's why this story, in my case, it's 20 years old, some of them are older, has never come out. Cara de Levingna de Levingna said Weinstein had usually harassed her on at least two separate occasions. During one, he called her and asked her about her UAL orientation and UAL partners, and at a later unspecified date, he seemingly propositioned her and another unidentified woman for. I was so hesitant about speaking out. I didnt want to hurt his family, she said on Instagram. I felt guilty as if I did something wrong. I was also terrified that this sort of thing had happened to so many women I know but no one had said anything because of fear. Claire Forlani Forlani took to Twitter to allege that Shed escaped Weinstein's advances on five different occasions over the years. This sort of thing was something my generation dealt with all the time, she wrote. For me it started at age 14, my parents had two male friends who I trusted and adored and they were deeply inappropriate. It happened all the time when I modeled and it happened all through my 20s in the film business. For us, it was something you weren't supposed to make a big deal out of. It was sadly our normal. 
Dawn Dunning according to the account she gave to the New York Times, actress Dunning expected to attend a dinner with Weinstein in 2003. Instead, she was allegedly directed to his hotel room, where he was waiting in a bathrobe. In the room, Dunning alleged were papers that Weinstein reportedly said were contracts for his next three films. Dunning alleged that Weinstein said she could sign them only if she had a threesome with him. Emily Nestor in 2014, Nestor had worked as a temporary employee at the Weinstein Company for one day when Weinstein allegedly invited her to a hotel room in the Peninsula Hotel, the same hotel where Judd says her altercation took place. According to the New York Times, Nestor said Weinstein would help her succeed in her career if she accepted his UAL advances. Emma de Cornish, the French actress, told The New Yorker that in 2010, Weinstein asked her to lunch after they had met at a party. Weinstein reportedly lured de Corns up to his hotel room under the guise of showing her a book he was turning into a. In the room, de Corns alleges Weinstein went to the bathroom, then emerged naked with an erection and instructed her to lay down on the bed. She was able to leave the room but told The New Yorker that the television director she saw directly after the alleged incident confirmed she was distraught and confirmed the account of her interaction with Weinstein. Florence Darrell Darrell told People that Weinstein propositioned her for in the mid-1990s at a hotel while his then-wife, Eve Chilton, was staying in the room next door. Gwyneth Paltrow Paltrow alleges that Weinstein made an advance on her when she was 22, just before she began shooting the Emma. Paltrow told the New York Times that after a meeting in his hotel suite, Weinstein put a hand on her leg and suggested they go to the bedroom for massages. Paltrow said she refused and left but later told her then-boyfriend, Brad Pitt. Pitt reportedly confronted Weinstein, which Paltrow said she feared would get her fired. I was a kid, I was signed up, I was petrified, she said. Jessica Bath Bath told The New Yorker that Weinstein had asked her in 2011 to give him a massage while he was naked. The incident reportedly inspired Seth MacFarlane to make a joke about it at the 2013 Oscars after Bath told him about the event. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein, he said on stage at the awards show. MacFarlane later clarified on Twitter that his comments had come from a place of loathing and anger and weren't meant to make light of the situation. Judith Godresh Godresh met Weinstein in 1996 at the Cannes Film Festival. She alleges that Weinstein invited her up to his hotel suite to talk business but then started asking her for a massage. When she refused, Godresh said, Weinstein told her casual massages are an American custom, the next thing I know, he's pressing against me and pulling off my sweater, she told the New York Times. Heather Graham Graham wrote for Variety that in the early 2000s, Weinstein implied during a conversation that she would have to have with him if she wanted a role in one of his upcoming films. After declining, Graham said she never worked with him professionally, and she didnt come forward for many years. While I still do feel guilty for not speaking up all those years ago, I'm glad for this moment of reckoning. To the countless other women who have experienced the grey areas I believe you, she said. Kate Beckinsale Beckinsale told The Hollywood Reporter that she met Weinstein when she was 17 years old and he invited her up to his hotel room, where he greeted her wearing only a robe and offered her alcohol. While she was able to leave without further incident, Beckinsale said when she met Weinstein years later, he couldn't recall the event. A few years later, he asked me if he had tried anything with me in that first meeting. I realized he couldn't remember if he had assaulted me or not, she said to The Hollywood Reporter, and she continued to say no to Weinstein over the years when it came to many film projects. It speaks to the status quo in this business that I was aware that standing up for myself and saying no to things, while it did allow me to feel uncompromised in myself, undoubtedly harmed my career and was never something I felt supported by anyone other than my family. Catherine Kendall After seeing a screening of a with Weinstein when she was 23, Kendall told the New York Times, the studio head said he had to pick something up from his apartment, and she went with him. After drinking and charting in his home for about an hour, Kendall alleged that Weinstein went to the bathroom, emerged in a bathrobe, and asked her for a massage. When she declined, he took off the robe and chased her, then tried to get her to show her breasts. Kendall refused. Katya M. T. Sitora is a Russian TV host and film executive Katya M. T. Sitoridze alleges that Weinstein arranged for a private meeting in 2004 during the Venice Film Festival. 
At the meeting, M.T. Sitoridze claims that Weinstein greeted her in a bathrobe, where he allegedly said his masseuse was late and they could have fun, without her. Prior to this incident, M.T. Sitoridze says that the producer had invited her to his hotel multiple times. Laura Madden Madden, a former assistant of Weinstein's, told the New York Times that he propositioned her for massages during the 1990s. It was so manipulative, she told the Times. You constantly question yourself, am I the one who is the problem? Lauren Savant Sivan was one of the first women to come forward after the first bombshell New York Times story, alleging to HuffPost that a decade ago, Weinstein had masturbated in front of her, after trying to kiss her and then trapping her between two rooms. Lauren O'Connor O'Connor's internal memo about the toxic environment at the Weinstein Company that was created by his UAL harassment and other misconduct was a huge part of the initial New York Times story about the former studio head. I am a 28-year-old woman trying to make a living and a career. Harvey Weinstein is a 64-year-old, world-famous man and this is his company. The balance of power is me zero, Harvey Weinstein 10, she described in a memo at the time. Cedar Cedu Cedar wrote in The Guardian that Weinstein allegedly invited her to his hotel room for a drink, where he lunged at her and attempted to kiss her. She was able to get away, but she says that she had to see him on numerous occasions after that point due to his stature in the industry. This industry is based on desirable actresses. You have to be desirable and loved. But not all desires have to be fulfilled, even though men in the industry have an expectation that there should be, she explained. I think, and hope, that we might finally see a change. Only truth and justice can bring us forward. Lena Headey, the Game of Thrones actress, took to Twitter on October 17 to claim that Weinstein had yearly harassed her on two occasions. In her tweets, she describes an encounter at the Venice Film Festival where Weinstein allegedly made a suggestive comment to her. I just laughed it off I was genuinely shocked, she wrote. In another tweet, Heady wrote that Weinstein allegedly tried to get her up to his hotel room in LA years later. Thinking quickly, the actress says she told him that she wasn't interested in anything other than work. He was silent after I spoke, furious, she described, adding he paid for my car and whispered in my ear don't tell anyone about this, not your manager, not your agent. Liza Campbell in the UK publication The Sunday Times, Campbell alleged that Weinstein asked her to take a bath with him after meeting him at his hotel suite. Louisette Geis Geis alleged in a press conference that Weinstein had offered to meet with her at the 2008 Sundance Film Festival to go over a screenplay she was pitching. About 30 minutes in the meeting at his office, Weinstein left and returned wearing nothing but a robe with the front of his body exposed. He then told her he was getting in a hot tub and wanted to masturbate in front of her. Louise Godbold in a blog post, Godbold recounted that Weinstein had allegedly trapped her in an empty meeting room, propositioned her for a massage, and then put his hands on her shoulders. No one needs that kind of publicity, least of all the hundreds of women Harvey must have propositioned over the decades, she said of the women coming forward. He will remain rich and powerful, the women will remain unknown, silent, hurting, because to speak up would be even more painful in this climate of victim blaming. Lucia Evans seen 2004, Evans, then an aspiring actress, told The New Yorker that she met with Weinstein after he approached her in a club in New York City. Weinstein later scheduled a meeting with her, and Evans alleges Weinstein forced her to perform oral on him. I said, over and over, I don't want to do this, stop, don't, she said, according to The New Yorker. I tried to get away, but maybe I didn't try hard enough. I didn't want to kick him a fight to him, I just sort of gave up, she continued. That's the most horrible part of it, and that's why he's been able to do this for so long to so many women people give up, and then they feel like it's their fault. Lupita Nyong'o won an opt for the New York Times. Actress Lupita Nyong'o claims that Weinstein harassed her at his family home in Connecticut. She alleges that he led her into a bedroom and offered to give her a massage. I panicked a little and thought quickly to offer to give him one instead it would allow me to be in control physically, to know exactly where his hands were at all times, Nyong'o wrote. Before long he said he wanted to take off his pants. I told him not to do that and informed him that it would make me extremely uncomfortable. He got up and he waited or so and I headed for the door, saying that I was not at all comfortable with that. Lysit Anthony British actress Anthony came forward in an interview with the Sunday Times to accuse Weinstein of rape. She claims that the producer visited her at her home, where she answered the door in a dressing gown. 
He pushed me inside and rammed me up against the coat rack and started fumbling at my gown, Anthony explained. He was trying to kiss me and shove inside me. The actress says she ultimately was not able to fight him off, calling the entire incident pathetic and revolting. Marissa Coughlan Marisa Coughlan told The Hollywood Reporter that Weinstein asked her to meet at a hotel in 1999 to discuss a film role. Once there, she alleges that he requested a massage from her, and suggested that she could be one of his special friends. According to Coughlan, Weinstein continued to proposition her with dates after their initial meeting. Melissa Sage Miller Actress Melissa Sage Miller alleges that Weinstein harassed her when she was 24 years old. She told HuffPost that during a meeting in Weinstein's hotel room, the producer allegedly refused to let her leave until she kissed him. Sage Miller also claims that Weinstein coerced her into flying on his private plane by kidnapping her bags. So I get on the plane, I walk up and I go, Harvey, you motherfucker, the actress remembers. He's just sitting there. He pats his hand on the seat next to him, and he's like, See, Melissa, you can't say no to me. I always get what I want. Mia Kirshner and an opt in the Globe and Mail, Canadian actress Mia Kirshner wrote that Weinstein allegedly harassed her in a hotel room. While she did not detail the encounter, Kirshner described his treatment of her as like chattel that could be purchased with a promise of work in exchange for being his disposable orifice. Mimi Haley a former production assistant Mimi Haley alleged during a press conference on October 24 that Weinstein orally forced himself on her in 2006. During the press conference, alongside her attorney, Gloria Allred, Haley alleged that Weinstein lured her to his apartment, according to The Hollywood Reporter, where the alleged assault happened. He would nt take no for an answer and backed me into a room which was not lit, but looked like a kid's bedroom with drawings on the walls, she said. He held me down on the bed, I tried to get to him off of me but it was impossible. He was extremely persistent and physically overpowering. The alleged assault came after Weinstein had made advances toward Haley in the past, she said. Minka Kelly actress Minka Kelly took to Instagram to describe how Weinstein allegedly propositioned her to be his girlfriend at a meeting. All I knew was not to offend this very powerful man and to get out of the situation as quickly as possible, she wrote. I told him while flattered, it'd like to keep things professional. He said fine, I trust you won't tell anyone about this. I said of course not. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me, the only way I could think to shut it down Gracie and excuse myself. Mira Sorvino and the New Yorker piece, Sorvino said that in 1995, Weinstein started massaging her shoulders in a hotel room and chasing her around. She was able to leave, but in a separate incident, Weinstein showed up at her apartment after midnight under the guise that they needed to go over marketing ideas for a when Sorvino told him that her boyfriend was on his way, the studio head left. She also told the magazine that she believes rejecting Weinstein's advances caused her career to suffer. There may have been other factors, but I definitely felt iced out and that my rejection of Harvey had something to do with it, she explained. Romola Garay Garay told The Guardian that Weinstein had an audition her for a film wearing nothing but a dressing gown. She described the situation as humiliating. The transaction was just that I was there, she said. The point was that he could get a young woman to do that, that I didn't have a choice, that it was humiliating for me and that he had the power. It was an abuse of power, Rose McGowan and a Twitter thread on Thursday, October 12, McGowan alleged that Weinstein had raped her. Twitter.com Rose M. C. Gowan status 9185678808656281618 at Jeff Bezos I told the head of your studio that H.W. raped me. Over over I said it. He said it hadn't been proven. I said I was the proof, she wrote as part of a thread. McGowan declined to comment for the initial article for the New York Times, but the paper reported that in 1997, McGowan and Weinstein reached a $100,000 settlement after an episode in a hotel room. It's unclear exactly what the episode was it was undisclosed at the time of the settlement. But in the wake of the article, McGowan took to Twitter to respond to the allegations against Weinstein. This is the girl that was hurt by a monster. This is who you are shaming with your silence, she tweeted on October 8, alongside a photo of her younger self. This is about a power structure that needs to be brought down. I cannot thank the women who came forward the boss writers at NYT enough, she said in another tweet. 
Rosanna Arquette Finn Arquette went to Weinstein's hotel to pick up a script in the early 1990s. He was allegedly waiting for her in a bathrobe. Arquette told the New York Times that Weinstein asked for a massage, and when she suggested a professional massage, she said he grabbed her hand and pulled it toward his genitals. Arquette said she pulled away, and Weinstein reportedly said she was making a big mistake. Sarah Ann Massimas alleged to Variety that when she was interviewing for a nanny job in 2008, Weinstein hugged her in his underwear and said that he loved her. She didn't end up getting the job. It felt like I dodged a bullet, she told Variety. Sarah Smith, a former Miramax employee in London who is going by the alias of Sarah Smith for legal reasons, alleged to the Daily Mail that Weinstein raped her in the basement of his London office 25 years ago. I remember, this is the one thing I remember most clearly, I thought, I have to keep saying no, Smith recounted. I was very aware that if a woman says no, it means no. And that was the one thing going through my mind throughout. No, 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 it was over very quickly and then he just said, get out. I remember walking home that night and it was cold and sodden. I was mortified and ashamed. I didn't tell anyone. Six women who allege Weinstein's companies helped cover up UAL miscondicate on December 6, the New York Times reported six women filed a lawsuit against Harvey Weinstein, alleging that his companies and their boards of directors conspired with Weinstein to cover up his alleged UAL misconduct. According to People, the suit claims Miramax, the Weinstein Company, and members of their boards conspired with Weinstein to perpetuate and conceal his widespread UAL harassment and assault. The Los Angeles Times reports the plaintiffs are Louisette Geis, Catherine Kendall, Zoe Brock, Sarah Ann Mass, Melissa Sage Miller, and Nanette Klatt. CNN reports that representatives for Weinstein did not respond to a request for comment. The Weinstein sexual enterprise had many participants, grew over time as the obfuscation of Weinstein's conduct became more difficult to conceal, the lawsuit continued. According to the New York Times, Weinstein's lawyers declined comment on the lawsuit. A Miramax spokesperson told the New York Times that the company joins the entire film community in condemning Harvey Weinstein and his unspeakable actions, and added that Miramax had been independent of the Weinstein Bros since they founded the Weinstein Company in 2005. The Weinstein Company did not immediately respond to request for comment from the New York Times. A spokesperson for James Dolan, who was on the board of the Weinstein Company in 2015 and 2016, said, Mr. Dolan is confident that he acted appropriately in all matters relating to his time on the Weinstein board, the New York Times reported. A spokesperson for another Weinstein board member, Paul Tudor Jones, declined to comment on the lawsuit, but shared a note that Jones had sent to his company that said, I never knew about those discussions or any of the revelations until they began to surface publicly, and I resigned two days later. A spokesperson for board member Mark Lazary did not immediately respond to the New York Times, and another board member's spokespeople did not immediately reply to request for comment. Sophie Dix Dix alleged to The Guardian that Weinstein pushed her onto his bed in his hotel room and tried to forcibly remove her clothes during an incident in the 1990s. After she escaped and later returned, she alleged that Weinstein was masturbating. Tara Subkoff fashion designer and actress Tara Subkoff claims that Weinstein acted inappropriately toward her in the 1990s. In an interview with Variety, Subkoff says that the producer allegedly asked her to sit in his lap at a party. I could feel that he had an erection, she remembers. I got quiet, and got off his lap quickly. She added that he allegedly asked her to come outside with him and other things I don't want to share, and claims that she lost a role and was blacklisted from the film industry because she declined his advances. It became impossible for me to get work as an actress after this, so I then had to start a new career path and started Imitation of Christ, a fashion and art label, Subkoff says. Tomi Ann Roberts in 1984, then aspiring actress Roberts told the New York Times, Weinstein offered to help her get a film role and was allegedly naked in his bathtub when she arrived at his hotel, where he told her to meet him. He said she couldn't get the role unless she was topless in front of him. Trish Goff model Trish Goff recounted an alleged groping incident to the New York Times, explaining that she agreed to meet Weinstein for lunch in 2003. Goff claims that the producer asked about her love life during the meeting, and allegedly put his hands on her legs. When we finally stood up to go, he really started groping me, grabbing my breasts, grabbing my face and trying to kiss me, she remembers, adding that she allegedly told him please stop, please stop.
Unnamed women various people have accused Weinstein of both UAL harassment and assault and have chosen to remain anonymous. Some said they chose not to identify themselves for fear of retaliation. He drags your name through the mud, and he'll come after you hard with his legal team, said one woman, who alleged that Weinstein had raped her in the New Yorker story. Vu Tu Fong in a Facebook post translated by Saigon Nia, actress Vu Tu Fong claims that she agreed to meet Weinstein at a hotel room in 2008 to discuss a film role. When she arrived, he allegedly greeted her in a towel and offered to show her how to perform scenes. I can teach you, don't worry. Many stars have also been through this, she says Weinstein told her. The actress refused and managed to get away. Zelda Perkins according to the New York Times, one of Weinstein's former assistants, Perkins, reportedly confronted Weinstein after had made a number of inappropriate remarks and requests to other female employees. She also didnt like his treatment of other women. Zoe Brockbrock told The Guardian that she was 23 when Weinstein allegedly cornered her and asked her for a massage while he was naked. She says she locked herself in a bathroom to escape. If you are someone you know has been newly assaulted, you can seek help by calling the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 800-656-HOPE 4673. For more resources on UAL assault, visit RAINN, End Rape on Campus, Know Your IX, and the National Sexual Violence Resource Center. Related the Harvey Weinstein scandal, explained watch this.